Okay, I'm going to try and teach you without having the Kobo today how to download books. So um, on the Kobo, uh, at least on the Kobo, the older Kobos, you can't, I don't believe you can even download it on the newer Kobos, but you can't download books that you buy off of other sites other than the ones that you buy off of Kobo. And I hope they change this in the future. So right now you need to use a program called Caliber Library. I mentioned it on the previous video. I said it wrong. I said eCaliber, but it's Caliber. And so how do you do this? Well, let's say uh, you plug in your Kobo into your computer. You have to download this program from the website. I will actually get uh, have a link below this video on how to do that. And then you you pick the book that you want to put onto a device. Now I'm going to see if it lets me. Yes, it does. All right. So you I'm going to pick Pride and Prejudice. I, you probably have it on your Kobo, but then you highlight the book you want to put onto your Kobo. You go down to Add to Device, and of course, right now there is no device hooked up to my computer, but you would go down to Send Specific Format to, and then you push either Main Memory or if you had Storage, but I don't believe the Kobo has an extra storage unit, so you would just put it onto the main memory. So that's pretty much it. So um, you would push main memory and then it would then download onto your Kobo. So again, uh, and this is a great program for a lot of things you can read in this program too, but it's great for uh, also if you have a PDF of something and you don't want it and you want it to be in a certain format like the Kobo reader uses an EPUB file, which is um, the file name behind your book. So say you had Pride and Prejudice. Behind this, let me see if it shows it actually. No, actually not that. Um, Let's just go to the folder it's in. All right, so this folder has Pride and Prejudice. And right here, I have an AZW. This is actually a Kindle book. Um, but this is a file name. And same with this one, EPUB. This is actually, an EPUB is actually what you can use on your Kobo. So make sure when you're buying books from anywhere, for instance, christianbooks.com or Google or anywhere, make sure that you're buying yourself an EPUB or Kobo formatted book. All right, so that's all to do with files. Then again, I wanted to explain and show you again that to download a book that doesn't come from Kobo store, that comes from maybe christianbooks.com or somewhere else because you can be, buy EPUBs um, in a lot of places. Uh, you go, you uh, download eCaliber, or no, not eCaliber, Caliber, which I will have a link underneath this video for. And maybe you should get Dan or Bavers, or maybe you should get someone to help you if you're unable to, if you don't really understand how to download videos and so you would go after you've got it downloaded and um, how do you get books on here well if you know where your books are stored so with christianbooks.com uh, you have to download them onto your computer so I would download them and I know you have an Apple so I'm not exactly sure how the Apple works in that case but I would download it into a file folder that said my books so you know where to find your books don't download them just anywhere make sure you have a folder called my books and download your books there then 
when you go to put your books into Calibre Library, you would go to this corner, the left hand corner, push add book and it will bring up some kind of menu. I'm not sure what it'll bring up on Apple, but then you would go to your folder called my books. Let me find it. Um, my books right there. I've got my books. And then I would go in and find my my book that I just ordered off of christianbook.com. Then you would push open and it would bring it into this area here. Then when you go to download it onto your Kobo, make sure your Kobo is plugged in to the USB port on your computer and then uh, right click or I'm just trying to see if there's some other way to do it. Um, uh, well, anyways, I'm going to tell you how I do it, and that is I right click on this. And if there was another way, I would let you know. I will find out later. But I right click on the book I want to put in. Let's go with this one here. And I right click on it, and a menu comes up. And when I right click on it, I go down to Send to Device. And then I go down to Send Specific Format to Device. And then I go Main Mem Memory because you won't have any storage cards on your Kobo. And then it will ask you what format you want to put it in if there is if there is several formats you have it in. You probably only will have it in EPUB, but if you have it in other formats, it will ask you what format. Make sure you push EPUB. E P U B file format. And then it will download it onto your Kobo and you're done. So I hope this was helpful and I will talk to you later in the next video. See you later. Peace out.